Nine years is a good age to encourage kids to pray. Even before that, even seven, eight is good. Uh, you don't have to be harsh about it. If they, you know, some of my kids are pretty good with prayer. Some kids are kind of lazy. And so we pray together and some kids are still playing with their Legos even if they watch me pray. So I don't say, hey, come here. We were making salat. Where were you? I used to do that until my wife kind of yelled at me like that. Why'd you do that? Yell at him. So I don't do that anymore. And so I just, you know, go over, play with the Legos. Hey, could you, could you play, could you pray with me next time? I felt so sad that you weren't there. Okay, Abba, I could be with you next time. And next time he just shows up and says, Abba, I'm next to you this time. I was like, yay, let's pray together. It's got to be a loving thing. I mean, we have to be patient with kids. It's not a law and policy that, hey, it's a lot of time. What are you guys? Uh, kids are hiding under couches like, it's a lot of time. You know, and they don't even know how to make the intention. I, I pray tiraka for the sake of dad. Like, you know, like you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You know. So just uh, loving encouragement and consistency. And if they fail every once in a while or they're lazy or they're not in the mood, it's okay. It's okay. Over time, inshallah ta'ala, you want to build a love for Salat. This is something that connects us to our master is an act of love, not an act of fear. You know. And so, uh, you know, I, I pray that we're able to be patient parents with our children and we don't expect perfection from them because wallahi, we didn't have it. We didn't. We were difficult kids. So let's be honest to ourselves.